Okay, so I'll tell about myself. I'm Dr. Daniel. I graduated from UMDJ, New Jersey Medical School, and then I went on to an anesthesia residency at the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. I went to the Johns Hopkins for undergrad, and so in this book we have chapters from a lot of my different colleagues and friends who went either with me to undergrad, to medical school, or in residency. So we have people from all different specialties with a lot of different experiences talking about their journey, what worked for them, what didn't, what struggles they faced, how they overcame it. We also talk to some attending physicians who kind of tell what they look for in applicants. So it's not just from our point of view. We have a lot of different perspectives that we talk about. So the book is on sale for $19.95. So if you guys are interested, we have some information in there. We have our business cards. You can check out our website. Now you got this young lady here. She wants to do an OBGYN residency, but she has her family members in the ear telling her, you know, you don't want to do that. It's going to cut away from family time. How are you going to manage it? You won't get to see your husband or kids if you decide it's too stressful. You know, why don't you consider something else? And they're already talking her out of it in her mind, you know, before day one. And that's a lot of the same concerns kids have or students have they don't know what to expect really from the medical profession how intense it is how are people dealing with this because within every profession you take you know there's going to be some gains and some losses you just hope one outweighs the other so then you got dr daniel just trying to break it down like look this book is about kids the people that grinded it out and made it happen all i could say is the stories and testimonials they're moving they're telling they answer a lot of questions. They touch what most other books or authors won't touch on. How they dealt with it, social life, problems they ran into, money woes, what they did it for, why they're in it. You can't just have family members saying, don't do it, because they just got a gut feeling. You know, get the facts. So you want to be a doctor? Hey, who doesn't? These are the untold stories the medical, dental, veterinary residents, surgeons, attendings, residents, the glossary, the index, the, the resources. I, I said enough. What happens after graduation? Because a lot of people kind of stop thinking about things. They say, okay, I want to get into medical school and that's it. But we took this one step further and talked about what life is going to be like once you're done. Mm -hmm. Dr. Shemaine Daniel here on our first recruiting trip for the book, So You Want to Be a Doctor, The Untold Stories of Medical, Dental, and Veterinary Residents. We are getting a great turnout here, and students are really interested in what this book has to say. Would you check it out on WagnerWolf.com? Well, yes, Paul University, this is where it is, 2010 BBMTA, Medicine Healthcare Community Service, Nick Caller. Senior advisor, we did a great job today. I'm hoping it's great every year from now on. There you go. I'm about to buy a book soon about becoming a doctor. I so want to know what to do after you know, I want to take a gap year, but I'm not sure what. Um, I was planning to do a post back program, but I wanted to do a post back program that, gave, that did more than just give classes. Okay. Like you did clinical, clinical things, research, something like that. Now, have you taken all of your pre med prerequisites? I'm almost Done. Like I just need physics and the rest of work though. Okay, so then why do you want to do the post back, or why are you thinking about that? Um, my grades aren't that great right now. My science GPA really that great. Mm -hmm. So I need to sort of put up my science GPA. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a post back program is one option. Also, doing a master's program maybe in the field of your choosing, maybe in biology, biochemistry, anything like that. That looks good to bring up your science GPA, but also so show that you're committed to the field. So that's another option. I have friends that have gone abroad to do even randomly unrelated things, you know, to teach English in Korea, you know, do mission work out in Ethiopia, you know, anything that kind of shows that you're serious about this. So those are all options. Books, websites, everything that you would need if you're going into the field. Okay? So they're on sale for $20.